Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. Uh, we're all missing you at the golf course and hopefully we can get you back out there sometime this year. But until we can get back out on the course, especially in groups, I've got some exercises for you to do and a couple of drills for you to do for your golf swing. Okay, so we're gonna have a warm up. We're gonna have a run through the chip shot and we're gonna do a full swing. You won't need any golf clubs unless you have some. If you do, then use them. If not, just get something to hold on to, like a cling film roll or a kitchen foil roll, something like that. Okay, so we're gonna start with a warmer. And all I want you to do here is stand with your feet shoulder width, your arms down your side, and all I want you to do is rotate your shoulders back 10 times. Okay, so you can see on this angle here, nice and slow. And this will help the mobility of your shoulders. Okay, and then going forward 10 times. Which is something I always try and do before I start swinging a golf club. Okay, and now the second exercise I want you to do is put your arms on your side. And I want you to start to turn to the right and then turn to the left. Okay, and then let it happen a little bit more freely. If you can, raise your arms up a little bit and let them swing naturally. Okay, try and do 10 each side. Okay, and ready. Okay, so that's a quick warm up done. We're now going to go through the chip shot. So this is the shot we'd usually use when we're just off the green and all we're looking to do is pop the ball up over some rough and let it run out. Okay, so I've got the golf club here and I've got the cling film. I'm gonna start with the golf club, okay? If we remember it's feet together, okay? Grip low down and your arms straight with a golf club pointing at the ground. And you can see that this forms a letter Y. The club and both my arms forming a letter Y. And all I'm going to do now is rock my shoulders back and forth, okay? Trying to brush the ground. There's no wrists and it's not a big swing. So just a small one here. If you're using a cling film, Brilliant, okay, so grip it, pointing at, the, pointing at the ground, and again, rock your shoulders like this. Okay, so see if you can get familiar with that chip shot. And the next one we're going to do is a full swing. What I want you to do now is get your feet shoulder width, okay, line it up to the middle of your stance. And this is the one, two, three drill. Number one being set up, so ready in your setup. Number two, we're gonna swing up, get a lead arm. So for me, it's my left arm parallel to the ground or at nine o'clock if you're looking at the clock here with a club pointing up. Two, and then three is the follow through where we try and swing through and balance on our feet. So it's one, two, three, okay? I'll do the same with a cling film roll here. Okay, feet shoulder width. Number one is a dress, two up to the top, rolls pointing up to the sky, and three, hit through and pose. See how long you can keep that balance for as well. If you can try and do it for more than five seconds, it's a drill, brilliant. So it's one, two, three, and if you can do it without stopping after a while, one, two, three, and that should get you ready for your golf. Hi everyone, here's a game for you to do during lockdown. You're going to need a putter. You're gonna need a few golf balls. I've got 12, but you may need more depending how well you do. You need to create a tee box, measure it out two and a half meters, a meter across, okay? I measured a three wood here and then just taken away the club head there, but it is a meter going back to my head cover here, which is also a meter across okay so the aim of the game which is called leapfrog is to try and get each ball to go past the previous ball without going out of the zone or hitting any of the other balls okay i'll do a quick demonstration here okay so now i need to get this one past okay And the game will finish if you hit another ball 
or you go too far, okay? Give it a go, it's brilliant for distance control, brilliant for accuracy, you can do it indoors, you can go and do it outdoors, have as many goes as you want, send me your videos. Hey everyone, here's a chipping challenge for you to do during lockdown, you can do it outside, inside, as long as it's safe to do so. You'll need a club to chip with, I've got a sand wedge here, you'll need a one of our recycling bins from the council, this one's the paper and cardboard one. I use this one because it's got a flap at the back which helps propel it up. 15 balls, measure it two meters, put the bin down, propel it up, two meters from the front and now we've got five different techniques to do. Each technique will be three shots, coming up to 15 shots in total. Okay, technique one, normal chip. If it goes in, two points. If it goes in but bounces back out, only one point. If you miss it or hit the sides and it goes out, nothing. Technique two, right-handed chip. Okay, so that would be two points just about. Technique three, left hand. Technique four, are you going to go on your right foot, balance it? And the final technique, on your left foot. Okay, so remember with each technique you hit three shots on each one, coming up to 15, top score will be 30 points. It's a great practice tool, try it as many times as you want, post your best scores, so we're hoping to have our sessions back sometime this year. We'll have them at various golf courses. Myself and my team, we're really looking forward to having you back or coming to play for the first time. Um, contact Wales Golf or the Stroke Association in the meantime and wishing you all the best. See you all soon. Bye bye.